we're uncovering more Ice Age lessons on Discover Wisconsin. Since we were so close to Lincoln County, Dave and his wife joined us to share more of his geological expertise in Langlade County. So all of these rocks that are typical of a marine surface were up on top of the glacier, along with a lot of gravel and sand and so on. And that was slowly let down as the gla glacier ice underneath melted out. So there was probably took uh, several thousand years for this moraine to form this way. So Dave, this area here really is some of the steepest terrain that you'll see along the Ice Age Trail. Right, we're right at the front of the Harrison Moraine. When the glacier was here, there was a pretty thick cover of debris, uh, and it would have been a very steep ice front. And out there, just even 100 yards, there was no ice at all at that time. That's unbelievable. I have to be honest, hiking the Baldy Hill segment of the trail was a little challenging, but it really makes for a scenic hike. And if you don't want to hike it alone, just check in with the local Ice Age Trail chapter, which usually has several planned hikes throughout the year. But on each of those hikes, I usually try to lead them and give some insight on the geology, the cultural taking place. So it's an education and an awareness that's created on these outings. Langlade County sits in a very interesting part of the state. You see, in addition to the Harrison Moraine, which was created by the Wisconsin Valley Lobe, two other lobes of ice came together to create two more moraines in the county. And the Ice Age Trail follows those moraines to create 51 miles of trail. These glaciers also helped create another vital asset to the area. So we're just north of Antigo, right at the edge of the Parish Moraine. Uh, and if we look out this way, uh, you can see agricultural fields on a really flat surface. That's called the Antigo Flats, and that was an outwash plain. So when the glacier sat here at the moraine, streams were coming off the glacier and carrying sand and gravel out across that flat plain and down toward the south. And so that results in a, a, a really high quality farmland. Want to hear more about Wisconsin's glacial geology? Just visit our website and choose Ice Age Trail as your destination. Because of all of the outdoor recreational opportunities, primarily all created by glaciation, Langlade County has been branded Wisconsin's County of Trails. And it's easy to see why. With all of the hiking, biking, horseback, ATV, snowmobile, snowshoeing, and cross-country skiing trails, we even discovered another way to take to the trails in Langlade County. That's right, mushers have marked comfortable trails to give their canine friends some winter exercise. For the rest of the family, Kettle Bowl Ski Hill proves to be an affordable wintertime destination. While we've explored many of Langlade County's land-based trails, it's the water-based trails that can be just as exciting. The Wolf River is definitely a must. It's a premier whitewater river for rafting, whitewater kayaking, whitewater canoeing, uh, and also fly fishing. It draws all sorts of different recreationalists to the Wolf River. With a bounty of lakes, rivers, streams, and spring-fed ponds, recreationalists can find many ways to enjoy the water. Veterans Memorial Park seems to be one of the popular places to gather for activities on both water and land, since many of the trails converge here. Combine all of the recreation with the amenities of the nearby cities, and Langlade County is ready to welcome visitors who enjoy the outdoors. I hate to cliche it, but it's a fun place to live, work, and play. It truly is. Watch bonus videos from the area by visiting discoverwisconsin.com and choosing Langlade County as your destination. When we come back, we're following the Ice Age Trail south, and I get put to work. We're going to actually help you clear a trail? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs>